is Lady Gaga. And um, yeah, I just arrived in London and I really love it here. I actually came here when I was four years old uh, with my mom and dad. And, um, I, you know, I did all the sort of typical London things. I went to go see Cats. <laughs> Mentality. Oh, it's great. Thing. It's funny because my DJ Space Cowboy is from London and he always talks about how dreary it is. But to me, I love it because we've been traveling all around the world and London reminds me the most of New York. Fashion street sense is fantastic here. Whereas in New York, I always make the boys dressless. <laughs> And in, you know, in London and in Germany and in France and in Sweden, it's, it's oh my god, Gaga stole the show at the party, so it's just a totally different man. Thank you. I'll probably, I'll start with Bowie, you know, uh, David Bowie is like just a huge influence of mine. And something that I really strive uh, for in terms of um, my influences, particularly my, my British influences, I'm very particular about not sounding just like David Bowie or just like the Stones or whoever I'm emulating. So with David Bowie in particular, it's like, for me, it's, it's, it's the intelligence behind the records. He had a real, real intelligence behind his music, but it was still... Yes, I always dress like this. This is like, I like, breathe and live for this. It's not, uh, it's not for you, it's for me. Uh, I'll talk also a bit about Amy Winehouse just because for me, she's like fucking royalty now, and rightfully so. She's this brilliant artist, and she's exactly who she is. And I love it because whenever I hear her music on the radio, it's not, uh, okay, here comes the hook, here's the hook, it's coming. It's not like this, this commercial explosion of something we've already heard. It's so completely her. I'm influenced by her balls. But it's funny, Brit's got a lot of balls. You know, David Bowie didn't show up in a, in a sweatsuit to perform because he really cared about his art and he cared about the visual and he wanted to say something with his image. His music doesn't exist without him. It's like, it's completely symbiotic. So, um, David Bowie is a huge influence. I wore the lightning bolt on my face and it's so funny to me when, when people go, so um, what does the lightning bolt mean? And I'm thinking, and it's, and, it's, and it's, you know, music critics in America and I'm thinking, you've got no idea. You've got like, no, clue about music and you're you're gonna you know be reviewing my record